Hi, welcome. I am Helmut Licht. Thank you for joining me for this video. I have developed an astrological subsystem which I call the Vertical Zodiac. It enables me to create what I call a Vertical Zodiac Twin of any planet in a horoscope by converting its declination into longitude. This is accomplished by calculating the planet's solar longitude equivalent. Sounds complicated? It's not. Let me explain. Here you see daily snapshots of the sun's declination and longitude beginning on March 20th and you will see that the sun's declination is zero zero north plus means north and its uh, longitude is zero zero Aries 01 in other words the sun enters Aries and a new trip around the zodiac begins Let's go down a little bit to uh, maybe April the 6th and you will see that the Sun is now <clears throat> at 16 Aries 49 and its declination is 06 North 37. It's important to note that the Sun's declination is increasing. Let's go to the second picture over here and let's go to May 2nd. The Sun is now at 15 north 30 still increasing and its longitude is 12 Taurus 13. A little further down May the 17th the Sun is now at 19 north 25 still increasing and its longitude is 26 Taurus 44. Bear with me for a moment as I take the Sun through all the signs of the zodiac because I have to make a very important point. Here the Sun is moving through Aries and its declination is north and increasing. Now it is in Taurus, its declination is still north and increasing. The same in Gemini, its declination is north and increasing. However, on the very last day it, the Sun has reached its maximum declination of 23 north 26 and now the sun is moving through cancer as its northern declination is steadily decreasing the same continues as it moves through leo when it gets into virgo the sun's declination will be decreasing until it is zero on september 22nd and it has now completed its northern declination semicircle. Now it enters into southern declination, which will increase as it moves through Libra and then Scorpio and then Sagittarius. Then the sun moves through Capricorn as its southern declination decreases continues to decrease as it moves through Aquarius and continues to decrease as it moves through Pisces until on March the 20th the Sun's declination is zero and the Sun has now completed its entire declination circle starting with north increasing north decreasing south increasing and south decreasing Please note that this relationship between the Sun's declination and its longitude never changes. Whenever the Sun's declination is close to zero north increasing, its longitude will be close to zero Aries. And now I can explain to you what solar longitude equivalent means. It means that a certain declination of the Sun always corresponds to a certain longitude and that relationship never changes. For instance, 
we have the sun at 159 north increasing declination and that always corresponds to 4 degrees of Aries 59 in the zodiac. We have the sun at 3 north 56 increasing and that corresponds always to 9 Aries 55 in the zodiac. I keep stressing the word increasing because after the sun has reached its maximum northern declination and then its declination will decrease, it once again will have a declination very close to 159, somewhere around there, but it will be a different longitude equivalent. Let me show you. Here the sun's southern declination is increasing as it is moving through Libra. And we have a declination very close to 159, I would say either the 148 or the 211. And notice that the longitude is now Libra, 4 Libra 31 or 5 Libra 30 or somewhere in between. Now let's convert a planet's longitude into its vertical zodiac twin. Let's pretend that I have a planet in my chart whose declination is 2 south 34 and increasing. Its vertical zodiac twin would be at 6 Libra 29. And that's all there is to it. Let's bring up a different month and try another one. Suppose the planet that you have chosen to work with has a declination of 21 south, 01, and increasing. Its vertical zodiac twin would be located at 4 Sag 21. Suppose the planet that you are working with has a declination of 21 south, 47, increasing. That declination would lie halfway between 21 south 42 and 21 south 52. Since the declination is halfway between 42 and 52, the longitude would be halfway between 8 sash 24 and, eight, and 9 sash 25, about 30 minutes. So it would be 8 Sag 54. Remember that the sun's maximum declination is 23 degrees and 26 minutes and a few seconds. After it reaches that maximum declination, then its declination decreases. Now let me bring in my natal planet's declinations. Notice that my Mercury's declination is 24 north 41, which lies outside the Sun's maximum declination of 23 degrees and 26 minutes. Planets whose declination is larger than the Sun's maximum are called out of bounds, short OOB, and their placement within the vertical zodiac is a little more complicated, too complicated for me to explain here, but not to worry. There is a way, and I will show you this at the end of the video. Well, now that you know all about the vertical zodiac, you may ask me, fine and dandy, but what is it good for? Why should I use it? What can it show me that the regular chart cannot show me? And here's one way for me to answer your question. And Jack was the seventh resident of California. Think of those letters as the planets in the regular chart. Now we have added some vertical zodiac twins the red letters, and it reads, Andrew Jackson was the seventh resident of California. 
let's add some more vertical zodiac twins and see what we come up with. Andrew Jackson was the seventh president of America. The original sentence is still there, the one in black, but Jack has been promoted to Andrew Jackson and the resident has been promoted to president. And California has been enlarged to America. The basic birth chart will give you uh, information for interpretation, but when you add the vertical zodiac twins, a much richer and more comprehensive analysis is possible. A much better way for me to show you what the vertical zodiac is able to do is to actually discuss three horoscopes. First, without the vertical zodiac twins, and then we will add one or two of the zodiac twins and uh, let things speak for themselves. Here is the birth chart of our former president, Barack Obama, and he was the most talked about, the most discussed, the most famous, and also the most powerful person in the world for about an eight year period. And looking at his 10th house, which is fame, honor, reputation, there's nothing in there, totally empty. It did not make any sense to me from the astrological point of view. There should be something in the 10th house. So let's bring in his vertical zodiac chart. Here it is. And now have a look at his 10th house. And this makes much more sense to me, astrologically speaking. And here we have President Bush's chart who preceded President Obama. And once again, there is nothing in the 10th house. However, here is his vertical zodiac chart. And we have Neptune in the 10th house. Here is the chart of Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth Taylor had four children, which would be the fifth house. There's nothing in there. She was married eight times, and I'm sure there must have been a lot of romancing going on before the weddings. Romance, love affairs, that's the fifth house, nothing in there. And she was in entertainment and show business pretty much all of her life. And also the fifth house, nothing in there. Let's bring in her vertical zodiac chart. And we have Jupiter, the planet of abundance in the fifth house. This concludes the instructional part of the video. And now I'm sure that some of you, hopefully many of you, want to know how they can get their own vertical zodiac chart. Very simple. In your web browser, type in www.astroapp.com. That will take you to AstroApp's main page, homepage. In the upper right hand corner, click on subscribe. It brings up the next page, which shows you two trial durations. One for two days for $1. The second one for one month for $12.99. Then you click the sign up button. That will take you to the next page. Be sure you enter the promo code at the bottom, which will give you 10% off any pro version of the program. The code expires in the middle of March of 2021. Thank you for watching the video. Be safe and happy astrologing.